Okay, so for our next step, what we're going to do is we're going to place our trees down. And what I just want to make them, I just want to kind of make them here and there. No real rhyme nor reason. Now, if you're going to place your trees between two of two of your canvases, you want to make sure that you give a good enough amount to where when you pull them apart, you can see where they're going to be placed. Now, I'm just going to draw a line of where I want to cut these two because I am going to cut them in half. Just like this. We're going to add them with some adhesive. Make sure they line up. Make sure I had the right piece. All right. So we have our three little trees on here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and run a little bit of adhesive, not a lot, just a little rough line at the bottom of each of them. And I'm going to take my molten metal, molten metal, and let me grab a scrap piece of paper. Actually, I'll use some paper towel. And I'm going to take my embossing powder, shake some onto my adhesive. Make sure I dab that into my liquid adhesive. I'm going to take a soft brush, 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 and kind of wisp away some of the gold has left on the canvas. Not all of it will come off, but I kind of like adding that extra layer to it anyways. So we have those two. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dab my actual canvas into my embossing powder. Let's get a little more on here. Again, pat that down. Get rid of the excess. Pour your leftover back into your container so we don't waste a bunch. And again, we're going to heat set that with our heat gun. And you can see in heating the adhe liquid adhesive with the embossing powder, the liquid adhesive bubbles up and gives you a really cool texture. Just like that. Pretty cool, yeah? All right, so let's place our little trees back to where we had them. Mm -hmm. 